This is African love grass, but it's not that loved. In fact, it's a total pest and hated by farmers. The weeds are taking over, therefore it's costing farmers much more money to try and feed the uh, livestock that they have. Uh, and they're forcing all the other grasses away. It costs about $80 million a year to manage weeds across Eden Monero. A new world first trial will start right here on a farm about 3 k south of Breadbow. One is uh, the use of recycled organics such as compost, but it, which we then use to bring back the native microbes and uh, the bacteria that's needed in healthy soils. Science will be used to combat the weed, which was introduced to control the growth of grass along roadways about 70 years ago. But what those who introduced the weed didn't think about was how much the weed would spread and stop grass growth on farms. The trial should start in a few weeks' time and last for about three years. Farmers will be keenly watching the results of the trial because their stock can't eat the weed, meaning they have to buy more feed. Much more than they used to. So it makes it uh, very difficult to manage farms when your uh, costs are going up significantly. If the trial's successful, it could completely change the way farmers approach weed management. Yes, uh, what we're doing is improving the soil. All the science is very clear. Uh, soil productivity is the key to this. If you've got more productive soils, you will have uh, the ability to have the native grasses and better grasses growing. The trial will cost about $200,000. Near Breadbow, Yana Black, Wind News.